brief introduction to current transformers and its applications. This is the one of many topics in the current transformers series. This topic is dedicated to introducing current transformers in very general terms. We shall have many videos for topics such as equivalent CT circuits, CT saturation, CT accuracy class for protection and metering, CT sizing, CT polarity, and CT grounding. For part one of this topic, we shall define current transformers and explain its basic operations. We shall also briefly compare CTs with power transformers. If this video was helpful for you, please consider subscribing to generalpack.com. Our goal is to make power systems intuitive. Our corporate sponsor for this topic is Illumiax.com. From Seattle, Washington. Contact them for industrial and commercial power system studies like short circuit, coordination, and arc flash studies. Illumiax.com also performs advanced studies like power quality, motor starting, grounding grid, reliability, transient stability, and snubber circuit studies. Visit Illumiax.com for these power system studies. In simple words, a current transformer, or a CT, is a type of transformer which converts a high value of current and voltage, into a smaller value of current and voltage. The high voltage and low voltage current quantities are linearly proportional by the CT turns ratio during normal operating conditions. Although the voltage quantity on the low voltage side is smaller, it is not linearly proportional. So current transformers are used for step-down current quantities, while potential transformers are used for step-down voltage quantities. And a power transformer is used to transfer power, it can be either step-down or step-up. Current transformers are a very special application of a step-down transformer. In order to have a smaller amount of current on the secondary side of the CT, the number of turns on the secondary side must be greater than the number of turns on the primary side. Let's explore a brief example. Suppose we have a conductor passing through a window, or donut type CT. Since the conductor passes through the window, the number of primary turns is simply 1. The number of secondary turns should be much higher. With this being an ideal transformer, primary current over secondary current should be equal to the number of secondary turns over the number of primary turns. So the number of turns on the primary side is equal to 1, and let's assume we have 4 secondary turns. This is a step-down transformer. So if primary current equals 100 amps and CTR equals 4, then we should expect the secondary current to be equal to 100 divided by 4, or 25 amps. Although the use of CTs are wide and varied, they are mainly used for either protection or metering purposes. In order to protect a distribution feeder, a current transformer can be wired to provide current quantities to a protective relay. If an abnormality occurs, the primary line current would increase, which is transformed to secondary values. This increase in current would indicate an abnormality, and the protective relay would issue a tripping command to a circuit breaker. Protection class current transformers are designed to transform wide range of line current with manageable amount of error. Typical range is 5 to 20 times the load current because short circuit currents can be very high values. We can expect up to 10% for the CT error. So protection class CTs should be carefully sized to make sure the CTs do not saturate. It is important to remember that the metering class current transformer must be highly accurate, typically with less than 1% error at full load. Metering class CTs are used for revenue metering or instrumentational purposes. A wide range of current is not required for metering class CTs. However, high accuracy is required to avoid CT error. We must carefully size metering class CTs because it can become inaccurate when the load current exceeds the CT rating. In the next part, we will discuss the CT equivalent model and the important characteristics of a current transformer. We hope this topic and series is enjoyable and enlightening for students and professionals. If you find this content useful, Please consider subscribing to generalpack.com. Making power systems intuitive.